Welcome to the second video presentation on cost analysis and exploratory cost effectiveness of youth-friendly sexual and reproductive health services in Moldova. My name is Jari Kempers. I'm a health economist and owner of health economics research company Qualis, based in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. If you need health economic expertise to support planning, fundraising or evaluations of healthcare programs, please uh, get in touch with me. M my contact details are at the end of this video. We have published this uh, research in the BMC Health Services Research Journal. My co-authors are Dr. Evet Ketting and Dr. Kalina Lesko. This study was implemented by Qualis in close cooperation with uh, Health for Youth Association of Moldova in 2013. The project was fund funded by UNICEF and the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, SDC. Below is a link to the open access uh, article. You can find the link also in the description of this video. The, the first video covered the cost analysis and the second video covers exploratory cost effectiveness analysis, which builds on the first part. So first, what is a threshold analysis? It is an analysis that compares cost of delivering services with cost savings resulting from these services in terms of averted treatment cost. For example, on the left side, there could be STI testing and treatment services. And on the right side, there would be averted treatment cost. In, in, in other words, cost savings resulting from the services. The STI testing and treatment services reduce new STIs and therefore avert uh, STI treatment costs in the future. The point where the cost of delivering the services are equal with the uh, averted treatment costs is called break-even point. It is important to remember that uh, this is not an impact assessment, but the theoretical analysis on required impact levels the services to break even. Conducting cost effectiveness analysis on youth friendly sexual and reproductive health services is challenging. It was not feasible to conduct a classical retrospective cost effectiveness analysis in Moldova because this requires an impact assessment of the program and a comparison with the incidence of uh, infections and unwanted pregnancies in a comparable area where the youth friendly health services do not exist. This kind of data was not uh, available. Yet, at the same time, it was important for the program to, to measure and show that the youth centers are good value for money. Therefore, we approached the cost effectiveness from a different angle. We conducted a threshold analysis to assess if the youth friendly health services could be cost saving. The results of threshold analysis present only one well performing center not the entire youth-friendly health services program. The threshold analysis measures break-even impact points for STI services, pregnancy and uh, contraceptive services, and HIV services. We group the different STI services as a generic STI services. The STI costs included testing, diagnosis, treatment and follow-up consultation and also cost of information, education and communication services related to STI prevention. In the Youth Friendly Health Centers, a typical STI treatment consists of uh, three consultations and average total costs were $15.06 per patient. Patients' uh, out-of-pocket costs for medicines were excluded from the analysis. The following parameters were used to estimate the, the cost savings. According to the Moldovan Youth Association's uh, CAP study in 2013, 38 of all sexual active adolescents had casual sex partners. They had on average 3.5 casual sex partners per year. Condoms were used uh, in 52.8% of these intercourses. Based on these uh, parameters, an STI inf infected adolescent, adolescent would infect uh, 1.9 new partners in year in one year. This uh, graph shows uh, the break-even points point for the STI services. Let me explain this a little bit. The red line 
is the total cost of delivering the services in one youth center in 2011. The horizontal axis is the number of averted STI cases as a result of the STI services provided in the youth center. The blue line represents cumulative cost savings resulting from future averted STI treatment costs. The point where the red and blue line cross is the break-even point. The total cost of allocated to the STI consultations and STI prevention activities were on average $10,600 per cent. The red line. Cost consequences of non-treatment of STIs were estimated to be $29.10 per case. Uh, these calculations were based on 1.9 infected partners and 3 consultation per STI treatment. Consequently, the STI services would break even if more than 364 STIs would be averted as a result of services of the youth center. In other words, STI services would in the, in the youth uh, center would become cost saving if more than 364 STIs were averted uh, during one year's time. Early pregnancy and contraceptive services were categorized as unwanted pregnancy related sexual reproductive health services. These services include early pregnancy and contraceptive, contraceptive uh, services and related uh, information, education and communication activities. The following par parameters were used to calculate the cost of uh, unwanted pregnancies. References to these parameters can be found in the paper. The consequences of uh, unwanted pregnancy were first divided into abortions, uh, 34%, and deliveries, uh, 66%. Abortion costs were limited to cost of medical abortions only, uh, $38, because uh, 95 of the girl, girl patients who decide to have an abortion and chose uh, for a medical uh, abortion. Delivery costs include uh, firstly normal delivery $141 and delivery with complications $327. 45% of deliveries in the age group uh, 15 to 19 years in Moldova were normal deliveries and 55% had moderate or severe uh, complications. In addition, there is an uh, ANC co-payment for all deliveries, $30. Some cost consequences of uh, unwanted teenage birth uh, are difficult to measure. For example, increased social, social support, lost education possibilities, and uh, decreased labor market contributions. These uh, are not included in the an uh, analysis because challenges with the measurability. Here we have uh, the break-even point for for the pregnancy and contraceptive uh, services. The average budget allocated for early pregnancy and contraceptive services uh, was $8,500 per youth center in 2011. This is the red line. The cost consequences of unwanted pregnancy were estimated to be $47.8. This is based on the cost of all the abortions and cost of 19.2% uh, of deliveries. The break-even point for early pregnancy and contraceptive services would be averted 178 unwanted pregnancies, we, un unwanted pregnancies which end in a medical abortion or unintended birth. The early pregnancy, uh, the early pregnancy and contraceptive services would be cost savings if more than 178 unwanted pregnancies would be averted as a result of services provided by one clinic. Next, uh, HIV services, which include HIV prevention activities and VCCT provided by a youth center. The following parameters were used for the break-even calculations. ARV treatment costs were $775 per patient year in Moldova. The expected remaining lifetime of an uh, HIV uh, infected person was assumed to be 21.5 years. The lifetime treatment costs were estimated to be uh, $12,500, which was discounted by 3.5% annually. 
So here we have uh, a break even point for the hip, uh, hip uh, surfaces. On average, uh, 8,100, the, the red line, uh, was allocated for hip surfaces per youth center in 2011. The discounted lifetime treatment costs of uh, hip patients on first line ART were estimated to be $12,500. Based on this, the HIV services would break even if only 0.65 new hip infections would be averted in one year as a result of the HIV services provided by a youth center. The threshold analysis has some limitations. In practice, the sexual reproductive health services are often combination of services, for example, a pregnancy test and STI consultation. The results are influenced by how the costs are uh, allocated uh, between the uh, sexual reproductive health services. Uh, the largest uh, cost savings are resulting from uh, averted HIV uh, infections. Therefore, the, the results are sensitive to the to variations of uh, HIV treatment costs and uh, expected lifetime of uh, patients uh, infected with uh, HIV. And finally, uh, some cost consequences of unwanted pregnancies could not be measured in monetary terms. This table uh, summarizes the total cost of services, cost savings resulting from averted treatment costs, and uh, break-even points per sexual reproductive health outcome. The number of uh, STIs required to be averted is uh, a relatively high, 364 averted STIs. Uh, this is because STI treatments are typically low cost and the long-term cost consequences of non-treatment are limited. The break-even point for unwanted pregnancies is lower, 178 unwanted uh, pregnancies. Uh, this is uh, decreased by the cost of carrying a pregnancy to, to term and uh, delivery assistance, which are approximately five times higher than cost of a medical abortion. And most importantly, very few new HIV evictions, only 0.65, would uh, need to be averted for the HIV services to break even. This is because the long-term cost consequences of new HIV infections are substantial. In conclusion, the results of the threshold analysis are encouraging. The results suggest that uh, together the three sexual reproductive health components are potentially cost-saving. This is because the high cost savings resulting from uh, averted HIV infections are likely to offset the cost uh, caused by STIs and unwanted pregnancies. Again, please note that this is not an impact assessment, but the theoretical analysis of the break-even points. Finally, I would like to lead us back from the health economic analysis to the objectives of youth-friendly sexual and reproductive health services. This uh, health economic analysis should be used to support planning, fundraising and implementation of these services. The youth-friendly sexual and reproductive uh, health services and the prevention activities can be potentially uh, cost-saving Yet uh, this, is, this should not be the only decision-making criteria. One needs to remember that the primary objective of uh, youth-friendly sexual and reproductive health services is to improve adolescents' health. I would like to thank my co-authors, Dr. Everett Ketting and Dr. Kalina Lesko, and also the following persons and organizations for their support and inputs during the study. We hope that this uh, threshold analysis will contribute to the decision-making and implementation process of uh, youth-friendly health services in Moldova and also in other countries planning to implement similar kind of programs. If you need health economic expertise to support planning, fundraising or evaluations of healthcare programs, please get in touch with me. My contact details are here. Thank you for watching.